and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are going on holiday. I cannot wait to get some sun and relax for a couple of days. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with me and showing you what it's like to be on prep while going abroad. I actually go away to Croatia tomorrow. So we're getting organized for that and we fly tomorrow evening. I am so excited because I haven't been on holiday in a hot minute. I am five and a half weeks out from my first show in August, so this holiday is going to be a little bit different to what my usual holidays is like because I won't be able to eat out and enjoy all the Croatian food. I'm going to be taking my own food with me and prepping everything in my apartment. I am just getting everything packed up to go away with. I'm going to be taking the majority of my foods away with me. I'll obviously get my meats and stuff when I'm there, but for my carb sources and fats and some of my condiments, I'm going to be taking them away with me just so I know that I do have them if the supermarkets are limited and there isn't the stuff that I need there. I'm taking loads of whey protein samples, my rice flakes, because I don't think I'm going to get that in Croatia. Baby rice, nuts, sauces, sweetener, some tins of tuna, my dark chocolate, my fry light spray, jelly, and the scales. I'm going to be taking my meat, so I've got my fish, my chicken, butternut squash, and my mince. Get some ice packs and put that in with the food and that'll keep it cold but I'll take this on as my hand luggage just so my food is all with me and I can eat while I am on the plane. These bags are ace because there's so much different compartments so I've got my protein powders and my dark chocolate and my sauce in there and then we baby rice and I'm going to put my scales in as well and then that'll be me. This food will probably last me tomorrow, Friday, maybe Saturday and then I'll stock up from the supermarket for the next couple of days. I'm just a way to take my cats to the kennels. This is the worst part about going on holiday. Got my little Leo, one of these, is probably actually sitting here. Like, there they are. You ready to go? You ready to go? Hey? This is what I've got to deal with. <laughs> I just enjoy the smell actually, as long as I've got a Diet Coke I'm happy but oh Bedroom, kitchen, little hob, and our bathroom. Whoop. And I'll just break the <laughs> break the apartment while I'm at it. Turns out we don't actually have a microwave in our room. Right now I am trying to heat up my food using the pan. Good morning. Holy moly, it is so hot here. We are just on our way to the gym, it's half past eight, and we're going early because my friend is getting married today. We are just away to go to the gym, get our workout done, and then head back and get ready because 
I have appointments at half past 12. I have no idea what this gym is going to be like, so we will soon find out. Are waiting for our Uber and it is <laughs> I am sweating I am so worried <clears throat> that you're going to see sweat stains through my dress <laughs> Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning, the day after the wedding and I am just on my way to the gym and look at this. How gorgeous is that? I'm honestly so grateful to be here just now. I feel so lucky that I can go abroad and be on prep because prep is a privilege and although on holiday you feel a little bit restricted. You've just got to remember that this is a choice. We're choosing to do this and it is possible. A lot of people think that you can't go on holiday because you're on prep, but that is not the case. Market honestly has every kind of sausage <laughs> underneath the sun, but it doesn't have any chicken in any of the counters. Help! Look at all this. Not one piece of chicken to be found. found the tuna section but the worst thing is I have no idea if it's in water or brine because it is all in foreign so I think I'm going to try find another shop to try and get some chicken and go from there chicken green beans and fish after no idea what kind this is but the macros are pretty good. Excited for this. I'm going to be taking it out with me to the restaurant while James gets some pizza. This is going to be a disaster. I have nothing to cut my butternut squash with, so I am going to try and boil it and then take the skin off after. Wish me luck. We are just in a pizza restaurant in Old Town, asked for a side salad with no oil on, then I 
took my food with me just so we can enjoy the food together while he sits and has a pizza. <laughs> yes. I have loved it here, it's so beautiful and you shouldn't feel restricted when you're on the trip. Just take your food with you, it makes it so much easier and you can enjoy time with your loved ones. That cardio just now was mental. If you've ever been to Dubrovnik before, you'll know that it's on a hill, so there's stairs everywhere. What I did just now was uh, ran all the way up to the top and then consistently ran up and down it for 45 minutes. And holy moly, my heart rate was peaking every single time. It was so good but such a challenge, my legs is literally shaking just now. See that house is up there? Yeah, well I ran all the way up to the top and then I found stairs and just kept going up and down. Crazy. We have just arrived back from Croatia. It has been the most tiring day, but it has been such a good trip and lovely to get away for a couple days. I am just a way to go out for my evening walk because I've only hit 7,000 steps a day and I need to hit at least 15 and a half thousand. I'm just a way to go do that, unpack my stuff and then go to bed. The next video will hopefully be a fall day of eating. I'll show you what I eat at five weeks out. See you soon. Please remember to subscribe if you've not already and give this video a like. See you later. Bye.